Okay. So if you follow the instructions for remote login, you should be able to connect it, uh, connect to the Netfold server. And in my case, I have a shortcut. Then I enter my uh, username, my password. So Linux will look like this. And if you double click my computer, uh, it pops out this this one just like the my computer for our Windows system. But I honestly I don't like this because every time I uh, I click anything, a new window will come up. So <laughs> it's really a mess. Uh, and uh, typically what I do is I'll go to application. There is uh, one application called File Browser. You can just drag it to your desktop. So now I, I have this file browser here. This is more like what we have been using in Windows. And you have this address bar. You can you can you can enter the address, type the ad address, or you can double click any folder. And you can also uh, use internet. So just click this symbol. Then. Let's go to Blackboard because we need some files from Blackboard to set up our Cadence simulation environment. Log into Blackboard. Yeah, it always happens when I want to do EDA tutorial. The the network is becomes very s <laughs> slow. Okay, and go to our course website, and under the Cadence folder, uh, there is one file called cadence files. So I'll simply save this file. And after download is complete, I'll have uh, this guy on my desktop. So I simply need to double click it. It's a zip file and I can click extract. So everything is the same as a Windows system. Then I'll have this folder extracted. It's called Cadence Files. Okay. If I open it, uh, I can see one file and one folder. But if I do View, Show Hidden Files, then we can see more files. And those files are related to the environment setup. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll open the file browser. And uh, I'll drag this dot bash rc. This one is for the entire environment of your Linux account. I'll drag it into my home directory. And the reason I call it home directory is because once I open up the file browser, uh, I'll go to home slash and this is my account name, right? So this is called my home directory. And I'll do the same thing, view show hidden files. And now as we can see, I have this file dot bash rc over there. And the next thing is I'll create a folder for the course project. So I'll call it ECEX321-2012 go to that folder and I'll drag the rest of the files to this folder, okay? So among these files, .cds environment basically determines your Cadence environment setup. .cds init is the initialization file. It initializes the Cadence environment. And this one, .cds plot init 
it determines how you are going to plot the waveform after simulation. And the CDS dot lib, this one, determines your CDS library, what kind of library, what kind of process you have in your design environment. And uh, under model folders, those are the model files that describes the performance of the transistors. Okay, so a uh, very simple, that's all what we have to do before we can run Cadence. And now I right click, oh no, I don't have terminal here. And now on the desktop, I right click and I choose open terminal. And then I have the command environment. From Blackboard, you can download a file that lists all the use for Linux command. So what I'll do is ls, which lists all the folders and, and files under my home directory. And now I cd into the folder I just set up, which is ecex321 underscore 20. Actually, once I type those things, I can use a tab. It will automatically fill in the name of the folder, right? So now I'm inside this folder, I do l ls and those are the files I just moved into the folders. If I do ls a, then it will display the files with uh, the hidden files. Okay. All right. So basically that's it. And what what uh, what I can do to bring up the cadence environment is I can I can type icfb. And after ICFB, I'll have two windows. The first window is the uh, kind of center of the cadence simulation environment. It's uh, called CIW. And the other window is the library manager.